It's a trainer of fighters, a man steeped in the traditions of working with fighters, not one of the sports instant gurus, not one of those guys that's bought himself a pair of pads, uh, you know, from one of those uh, Lonsdale cheap shops. No, this is a guy who knows his stuff. He's also the current trainer at Darren Barker. Please welcome to the show a very old friend of mine, Tony Sims. How are you, Tony? Yeah, I'm well, thanks, Steve. How are you, mate? Yeah, no, listen, I'm fantastic. Right? Tony, has it been a good or bad year for you professionally, boxing-wise? Well, it's been mixed, obviously. The uh, the highs was uh, being in the corner with Carl Frotch yeah, not uh, this year. Uh, beating um, Arthur Abraham was Staggering, unbelievable. Wasn't it? unbelievable. Yeah. But we all knew in the camp, you know, his ability to box like that. I knew he had great boxing ability. I've watched him spar like thousands of rounds, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, to go and watch him do it on the night when everyone was thinking maybe he might get knocked out yeah. by Abraham and to give that uh, boxing ability his show what he showed there was unbelievable I was telling someone earlier on Tony about that moment when he came back in about I think it was around about t round 10 and him and Robert had that sort of stand up in the ring because he wants to go and stop it and Rob's screaming at him to carry on boxing it was just drama it was fantastic stuff yeah. wasn't it well I think he could have stopped him really yeah. you know so, I mean? so, so, was, so do I obviously we was holding him back you know because you didn't want you like he was so intense you know anything could happen you know with yeah. Abraham you know how I punch he didn't want to take no risks, so we was on him in the corner, you know, just hold back, stick to your boxing, stick to your jab, you know, but, yeah. and that's what he done. But obviously, the other eye for me uh, this year was back in April with uh, on a personal scale with Darren Barker yeah. uh, winning the European title. And the lows is obviously the uh, major hip operation he had and having to pull out the Macklin fight, you know. I'm going to get Darren on the show uh, last week, Tone, but he's, he's boxing on the Feb 5th show, isn't he? Well, in theory, just, in theory, we're, in theory, what we're doing, Steve, we're taking it slow because we rushed back last time. Yeah, he broke down on the hip again. No good. And the main thing is, um, you know, that he gets his fitness back, his mentalness back to box again. And yeah. you know, so we're just going to take it slowly, see how it goes. If it ain't the fifth of Feb, then it'll be perhaps the end of March, even. Right. You know. Well, so I'm going to get, I'm going to get him on. Um, I'm going to get him on next week. Listen, Tom, thanks very much. Uh, I've got to tell you, you've had ten seconds less. Than Barry McGuigan, but you long give me ten seconds more, Steve. I've known you the longest. Well, you've just I knew you when you was a little pretty boy with curly hair. I know. I've got the pictures to prove long. it. I've got the pictures to prove. <laughs> Tony, you've just now had five more seconds than oh. Barry McGuigan. You got your seconds in the end. <laughs> Tony Sims, thanks very much indeed. I have known Tony since I was about 11, which is an awful long time ago now. In 2000